It's Bay College basketball. Today, it's the first of two. It is Iowa Western, the opponent today, and Will Kelly is with us. Hey, Jack. How are you doing? Pretty good. A hey, Florence Bobcat? Yes, I am. Well, you, yeah, you always will be, right? I always will be, yes. That'll forever be in my heart. Well, uh, I think you're probably the first Florence player ever to come here to Bay. Yeah, I believe I am. Well, talk with me a little about uh, your school, and uh, for a lot of our listeners uh, across the UP, they know where Florence is, just across the border from Iron Mountain, but uh, many of our listeners also don't know because, well, they're from out of the area too, so tell us where your uh, school is at and tell us about your town. So my school is located 15 minutes away from Iron Mountain, and we're a pretty small school. Our enrollment was around 120 last year, and we're just a small school with a lot of athletes. Well, you were one of them. You had a great career there, man. Yeah, I did. Thank you for that. Yeah, so tell me about the sports you played. Uh, basketball, of course, has you here, but you uh, that wasn't the only sport. When you're in a school the size of Florence, you're going to play more than one sport. Yeah, you will be. I played four sports my senior year. I was in basketball, football, track, and baseball. Now, track and baseball are at the same time of the year, so how'd you do that? So I had to pick a primary sport, which was baseball, and then a secondary sport, which was track. So if I had a track meet and a baseball game on the same day, I went to baseball. And then you also played baseball in the summer. Yeah, I did. So did you ever get a break? No, not really, but I like staying busy. Well, for sure. Now, uh, talk with me a little about your decision uh, to follow basketball as uh, your main sport, because you could have also gone to play baseball or other sports elsewhere. I chose basketball because it kind of really took my heart towards my eighth grade year, and it, transitioning into freshman year, it just really took off from there. Dude, you're not the you're not the biggest dude around. No, I'm not. <laughs> So talk with me about how you've compensated for that and how uh, you've been able to be successful at basketball by, uh, you know, not being very tall. So just being scrappy is my number one thing, going in for rebounds and fine-tuning things that other people really don't. So how have things gone for you so far here at Bay since the uh, you know preseason began back uh, well, pretty much when school started? It's it's been really good. I, I love the environment. I love my teammates, and it's been a really great experience for me, especially coming into the season and starting. That was the next question. Uh, not many people probably thought you would be in the starting lineup. I didn't think myself either at the start of the year, but when you lose a couple guys, things change. Well, it wasn't only that. Uh, you earned it. Uh, and talk with me about what you felt in your mind you had to do to put yourself in a spot where you could be a starter. So just working hard in practice was the main thing that I had in mind. And once you work hard in practice, coaches see it, and it just all goes uphill from there. Now, you had played for Coach Johnson in the past? Yes, I have. I played on his AAU team for three years. So tell me how you feel that helped out, because uh, obviously you got to know him and, and what he expects. Yeah, so it's the same style of play in AU that he expects of you in college. The way you play defense, kind of the offense, and just how he coaches, because I was coached by him. What do you? What does he expect of you outside of uh, that? I, I know that kids that played for him out of college he kind of expects a little more out of when we get to college yeah he expects a lot out of you in college because he wants to win and who doesn't love winning well uh, you saw how the team played last year and you saw how the program has has moved up the ladder so uh, you know how do you feel about being a big part of that this year man it feels great I mean I just wanted to be a part of it because of the experience you not many people get to experience this in their lifetime no, 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 not at all. Uh, tell me what you're studying here at Bay. I'm studying the water treatment systems. Uh, so, so, so what? You you want to work on sewers or what? No, I'm going to be <laughs> making sure everyone has safe drinking water. Oh, okay. So you're making sure I don't get any sewage in my water. Yes, that <laughs> that is the main goal. <laughs> did you uh, uh, putting aside the joking? Did you work on that kind of stuff in uh, high school? Do you have tech classes or something like that got you interested? No, actually, I was I was I was looking through all the careers at Bay, and that one kind of caught my eye. And on 
how you can affect like every single city in the in the country well every city needs to have somebody like you and and, and staff like you and hey look uh, we all want to drink uh, turn on the tap and have decent water right yeah i think everyone wants to so, so it's it's hard though, isn't it? I mean, it's very complicated with a lot of chemi- uh, uh, you know, chemistry, and, and I wasn't very good at chemistry at all in high school. That's why I'm on the radio. Yeah, it's a lot more chemistry than I thought, but luckily I'm at least okay at chemistry, and I can understand it. And you're sure? Uh, I'm, I'm sure that you're sure that uh, Bay College has a good reputation uh, in that area uh, academically. Yes, they teach throughout the whole UP. They have, they we're all online, so I'm also going to be taking the online course, but they have the program spread out to all over the UP, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, all over. Yeah, good job placement too, hey? Yeah, it's in, it's in need right now. <laughs> yeah, like I said, everybody wants to drink uh, clean water. Um, so, okay, I'll let uh, you, uh, we'll give you shout outs here, man. I'll give my shout-out to my parents, especially my mom, because she's pushed me to get here, and all, all the people that have helped me along the way, Coach Brian and all, all my teammates. And I'm pretty sure all of Florence County, too. Oh, yeah, all of Florence County. <laughs> all right, man, great having you on the team, and uh, you've done well so far, and uh, let's uh, have some fun this weekend here. Yeah, let's go win them. All right, Will Kelly, everybody, in our halftime show. More coming up from Iowa Falls here as we continue with the stats coming up next. That's after this three-minute timeout. Bay College Radio is Maverick 106.